Hello and welcome in the Lindroid Pineapple 19AR Android Ready System. It's Ubuntu, Ubuntu 19 Disco Dingo development branch. This is brand new. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's not done yet, guys. So uh, certain applications might not work the way expected. Also, things might look a little bit different to you. Uh, but trust me. Um, I must say that for the last 48 hours testing this system I must say that it it's serving me really nice okay so uh, if you're gonna run this live then you're just good to go and you'll be able to do all sorts of things you will be able to edit video or watch Cody or you know uh, the App Store <laughs> the App Store does not have any app for you so um, most apps you will have to install via the terminal screen uh, up here it's gonna load the catalog uh, software catalog but in fact it will not show any application as well not in the um, I also added this screen here so you can see this because in fact this is the first version that you will see that will show you this there you go Ubuntu Mate 1904 can you see that there peeps this is the first Ubuntu Mate 19 that you will see uh, yeah for now because in fact the guys are still developing there's no the guys at Mate uh, will not start with building until that is done so this is yeah in fact a pre pre version of whatever uh, it it will be at a certain moment in Linux Mint 20 or I mean Ubuntu Mate 19 um, here you will see that we won't find no software sorry you see that was what I was explaining to you about knocking on the door and they see Ubuntu 19 and they don't know it's Ubuntu 19 so Ubuntu 19 is not welcome to come in so yeah this is yeah to show and to prove that there's nothing there for you to download so in fact this thing is useless if you want to install something yeah you will have to do it via the terminal in fact it's not that hard you know um, I installed all these things via the terminal and some were installed for me that came with uh, the mate desktop okay and some people were like they don't understand this distro and Android how you mean Android well if you have a uh, a laptop that has uh, virtualization built in uh, you will thanks to Kimo be able to run Android straight on top in Linux Mint or I mean pff, this is not Linux Mint in Ubuntu okay so um, in fact you must see this way that uh, the virtualization will let you do that if your laptop does not have that alien will make sure that you will get a dual boot so you can still boot into android so how to get started after you install the system you already know how to install the system you already know that uh, after you booted live you must go into gparted that's the first thing that you're gonna do you're gonna start up gparted okay to install the system you're gonna log in with channel 48 okay boom and then you're gonna get into gparted remove all the all the drives that are in the system this will be a clean install of the system if you want to do that you know you could also run it live life is just fine it will do uh, its best just as good as when you installed it you know really trust me uh, I, I tested this all on on in fact uh, low specification devices dual core laptops you know not even on quad core and i5 and i6 so yeah uh, on these systems it will all work even more amazing but what uh, is the meaning of this well after you removed all the partitions and you uh, give the roger d there so they were created so you're gonna have an unpartitioned space now you're gonna create a new partition the new partition will be minus the uh, amount of RAM in your machine so for instance in this machine I have um, I think three gigabytes of RAM I'm not sure 
uh, let me see in here I have uh, 2.9 gigabytes of RAM you see that so I have 3 gigabytes and um, uh, so in fact uh, this partition was created by Ubuntu but uh, in fact we're gonna have a, a swap partition as well so we're gonna have a, a root partition this this complete partition is root and we're gonna have uh, a swap partition okay and the swap partition will represent the amount of ram that you have so let's say this this kick this this drive of yours is 200 gigabytes then you're gonna create uh, uh, a partition a x4 partition of 196 gigabytes if you also have four gigabytes of ram you're gonna create another partition and you're gonna uh, format that one as swap so the first one will be formatted to x4 and the second one will be formatted to swap and then you agree here give a roger, roger d when you have these two partitions created you're done in uh, gparted then you're gonna go to system back you will find it here on top you see that system back Again, you're going to log in with channel 48. And when you're in channel 48, in the system back, you're going to hit system install. Okay, here you're going to give it a name. And a password. This one you can leave open. Not recommended for Ubuntu. And uh, here you're just gonna give it a name and then you're gonna hit next. So when you get to the next page, you're gonna see the two partitions that you created. The root partition that is represented by this little stripe here and the swap partition. So you're gonna select the root partition and then you're gonna hit mount point and you're gonna look for that little stripe that you see here. That means root and then you're gonna select that one and then you immediately hit the arrow you go to the second partition the swap and you select the box again boom and you select it to be a swap be used as a swap file and then you hit the little arrow again now now you're done you're gonna have swap here and you're gonna see root up here now the next step is to go to transfer user configuration of data files you must select this if you don't select this then the system will just be Ubuntu okay and then you can hit next and the system will be installed at the first reboot when you get into the log screen the log on screen uh, you will see uh, right beside the wherever you must put your password you're gonna see a little white round circle when you click that one you're gonna see all the desktops that you can log into you could you could log into Kodi, you can log into mate and you can log in to the unity desktop that is still in here okay you could literally log off the lindroid pineapple system and then log in uh with the with with the mate uh, i mean with the unity desktop and then you're gonna have unity then this all will not look like this and probably you you, you will still have all the applications that i pushed into it and maybe even the icons because you're logging in with uh, uh yeah i'm not even sure about the icons but um you should not log in with that desktop you should log in with the mate desktop then you're gonna come in here and then in fact uh yeah you're ready to install android uh installing android is not that hard what you will need to do is go to um android apostrophe x86 dot org okay that's where you're gonna go and in here you're gonna look for the Android version that you want to download, the 8, 8.1, uh, 7.12, you know, any one of them, uh, six from six to to eight. So let's say you go for this one. Then you're gonna look for. Let me go here. Then you're gonna look for the RPM. And you're gonna look for the for the version that represents uh, the, the 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 your system. So I'm on a 64-bit system. So I should go if I want to use this Android. I should go for this for this version. You see that? Then you just click the RPM, not the ISO, the RPM you need, and then it will soon come in, and then you can download it. I went for. Uh, 
for Android 7. So let's me show you how to uh, get the Android uh, in your system. So you downloaded your, your favorite version of Android. Okay. So what you're then going to do, you're going to go to the folder where you have that Android uh, downloaded. So it should be in your downloads. Ah, oh, there it is. You see that? So what you're then going to do is right mouse click and open in terminal. Yeah. Uh, and then you're going to type sudo alien apostrophe psi and then the name of this of this file but you need the complete name so go to the properties and copy this name copy including rpm okay and you paste it and you hit enter it will ask you for the password cause you said sudo alien so it needs a password so you're going to put in the password that you created during the install and then it will take about 10 to maybe 15 minutes depending on what system you are you're, you're running if there's a lot of power it will go probably in five six seven minutes but it takes it takes a while and then at a certain moment it's going to see successful bomb 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 it's done you know and then uh, effect if you're on a powerful system then you could uh, run it from uh, from out here you could then let me see what it's saying you could uh, literally here on the android x86 side you will learn about kiemu and alien this all with thanks to mr cw huang and all his friends i think his name is Sheng. Sheng. and uh, up here you're gonna find some uh, comments and this one is in fact um, the same command that I showed you here. You see that sudo apt install alien. I did that already. So sudo kemu android uh, will only work if copy if you also have um, a paste. Oh, it's not pasting. Uh, what was I saying? Sudo kemu android. Wait, hold on. I saw something else there. Oh no. Sudo Kemu Android. Yeah. So you type sudo Kemu Android. And then it should sudo. Hey, I have no text. <laughs> Close terminal. I have no text. Let's try it again. Um, open the terminal. So you're gonna say sudo, uh, no, 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 don't worry about that. Um, sudo and a kiemu and then Android. Password. You see, and uh, my SDL is not available this will only work if you have virtualization in your system so in fact then it would open in this window really cool but now uh after we you know after the process is done and we're gonna reboot the system we're soon gonna go to the to the phone cam then you're gonna see it the effect yeah you you will be able to start up android but for me 64 bit is not working android 64 bit is not working for me in the system and because i installed the 64 bit of ubuntu there's no 32 bit uh, um yeah i will not be able to you know to use my android in this in this in this version of ubuntu if i wanted to do this and let it work on the 1545 then i had to uh, go for 32 bit system you understand good so um yeah now you also have dual boot whenever you're gonna reboot the system hit escape before it boots into the uh, to the operating system you will get into a menu and there you will find android x86 as well as a boot option so then you can boot up so we have the rich and the poor man version uh, both for you installed so rich and poor uh, i mean with that to say uh, that people with virtualization and those without virtualization will still be able to run android natively full powered by the by the system and not in some virtual box or rubbish like that because i don't use that so um yeah i'm only installing onto real hardware yo guys i trust the developers out there at uh, 
Ubuntu and Linux Mint. These are I consider them as my family. So yeah, I installed the real hardware. Okay, and I also have everything open so they can see whatever I'm doing, so they can learn from that. You see, because having all these applications installed is really cool. Because yeah, in in Ubuntu 19 there is no App Store. All these things you have to install yourself. Open shot was done manually, just like Cody, Oda City, you know, Rhythm Box that came with with the Mate, but the Mate was as well. The Mate desktop was installed manually into this system, and even though that is not such a big deal, but it's great to know that certain applications work good, such as the simple screen recorder that we're using right now. You see that? So, <clears throat> so I can say that uh, uh, the system is pretty good. Yeah, I installed another uh, video player, uh, VLC. Um, yeah, I was trying to repair a file, and in fact, I, yeah, I think that my VLC is broken. You know, let let me see. Uh, sudo apt get auto remove VLC. Yes, I'm going to remove it because it's not working the way it should. So it's gone. And I will install it later. Because in fact, I installed another video player and that is the, um, the MPV media player and that one is just fine. It's just amazing. It's just good. It plays all my my recordings that I that I make with the system, and it also looks very nice. So yeah, VLC. I I think I broke it. In uh, the distro, VLC will still be good. So this is just some things that I did today, and uh, I was trying to fix a video file, but the video file was no good anyhow. I found out afterwards because the thing had no sound. <laughs> I'm using some uh, USB microphone and the microphone was not selected properly. So in videos, oh, I deleted all my videos here. I should have some video that should play. I'm not sure. Uh, it's all good. For, I think they don't play from out the... Uh, this one should play. You see that? But it had no sound. I didn't know. So I made a complete video and then I found out it had no sound. <laughs> then I had to do it again. Oh my gosh. That was so depressing. So I'm gonna delete all these files. The trash is deleted. So and uh, yeah this is the file that we're creating right now as you can see 82 megabyte this will be a full hd uh, video recording yeah thanks to martin bart and uh, yeah of course uh, of course of course ubuntu disco dingo development branch team and developers and everybody there that is helping and that is advising and that is testing yo all you guys you're all champions keep up the good work and keep linux alive let the ball roll let the wheel roll and let it roll just like that bus there rolling into yeah the middle of nowhere there in a desert where we have some uh yeah pineapple uh, fields as you can see here at the side the pineapples love to grow on the on the dirty uh, uh, I mean the dry dust uh, dusty uh, <laughs> dusty ground so yeah that is the story about uh, the pineapple uh, 19 AR peeps yeah it's all uh, just for fun and as you can see fun can also be taken very seriously because everything in here works more than more than beautiful okay another surprise i have for all of you out there that is uh, bve i got bve to run on the ubuntu guys that is amazing 
and uh, the only thing will be after you installed it you will have no uh, routes and you will have no trains you have to you know install that yourself and uh, i installed a route and some trains here um i can show it to you this is mitten wassen and that is more interesting than the new york uh, underground i hate undergrounds and uh, up here we have some trains you see that we also have this one and this one it's not showing let me see what this one is i never checked out this one look at all these trains yeah amazing so uh i'm very amazed to see that open bve as well works in uh, ubuntu 19 guys uh, here you can see we have no train at all so yeah it's all good this is um yeah let's jump to the main menu yes because this is ridiculous that is a train that is not a train so um Let's go for that one again and let's get a normal train, this train here. This is just only the train. We have no passengers, this is just simply the train. And this is how it looks. And uh, We close the doors. Bitte einsteigen und Türen schließen. Vorsicht bei der Abfahrt. I thought I closed the doors. <laughs> now they are closed. There we go. No 3D cockpit in this one. But this is open BVE on. This is amazing because, yeah, normally this does not work. Now this is not about the train simulator but as you can see we also have the train simulator working in here so my next build will have the train simulator bve uh, installed as well with some you know some railroad so you guys that love trains can also ride a bit so uh, what we're now gonna do we're gonna jump to uh, to my phone and from my phone out i'm gonna show you that uh we now as well have android in our dual boot so we can also dual boot android now um, so let's go to the phone and i'll see you up there welcome in the phone so here we're gonna type sudo reboot and hit the escape whenever you see hit escape and you see there is android but it will not work on, maybe it will work on Android on, on Ubuntu 19 but on previous versions it never worked it stays here it stays right there it's not continuing you see that but if you're gonna run the same thing on another machine for instance on my i5 then it boots and if this was 32-bit then it would as well boot as I showed in previous videos. 
okay so this this is not working now understand me very well it's not working for me on the dell 1545 64 bit laptop why well because this thing has hardware that is not uh, blessed by android at least the 64 bit uh, hardware is not blessed by 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 uh, by android but it is uh, uh, for the 32 bit so yeah it's just a matter of device where you're gonna install this onto and uh, yeah depending on your hardware you know you will also choose the right android version that corresponds and works good for you this was my video it is a long one again but i explained many things i hope that uh, some questions are being answered uh, as well for the ubuntu development branch disco dingo um, yeah these are the applications that are running pretty good on my system i have no failures um, also simple screen recorder did a great recording i must say that uh, open shot i did not test yet but i think it will work just fine cody is as well working it had in fact it did not work out of the box i fixed it and in the distro in fact it's fixed so yeah, if you're gonna run this distro live or install it cody will work out of the box for you anyway this was it uh, ladies and gentlemen thanks again for watching uh, good luck with testing ubuntu 19 disco dingo to all that uh, work on this distribution thank you so much great work and uh, yeah go ahead if you want to download this distribution check the video below this one uh, i will put the link in the description and up there you will be able to find uh, the live distribution that you can as well install and that is completely themed into lindroid pineapple 19 android ready see you in the next video if you liked this information leave this video a like subscribe to my channel if you did not already don't forget to hit that notifying bell otherwise you will never ever get an update whenever i upload a new video again see you in the next video bye bye